having Saturn. a fantastical meeting. Okay, hopefully you can all hear us. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> it's back. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Uh, also, please don't do emotes because, like, you know, we're trying to do a meeting here. Thank you. Okay, so moving on <laughs> to introductions. Um, we were doing the Legacy Officers and we went to Joe Lyons. So Joe Lyons, I guess, couldn't hear us. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you that Joe Lyons has been a longtime officer of ours who donates large prizes to the FC. And he assists with like any large giveaways or um, it, crafting as well. He's been there to help craft for the FC. So that's Joe Lyons. And then we can pass off to Silvax. Hi, I'm Silvax, um, Omnicrafter, Omnigatherer. I'm not fully geared out, so I can't make a lot of the higher stuff. I also lead the Blue Mages uh, in our quest to get spells, gear, and a wonderful tentacle monster mount. Um, I absolutely love the new content. I will run most any of it. Uh, if I have time, I'm also working on getting all of my lower classes up to 80 so I can have them all at 80 and really be able to support you guys in everything you want to run. Um, and I guess I will throw it out to Sofrena. Yes, hello. It is I. Um, I'm Sofrena. Uh, I currently run the Mortals Lottery. Uh, yeah, uh, the lottery is... With the current stance is at about 3 million, and you have approximately nine, 11, uh, 3 hours and like 39 minutes or something like that to donate your tickets. So once the meeting's done, go do that so we can give you more stuff. Uh, yeah. And I do lots of stuff. I don't know. I do everything. Uh, Jebediah. Hello, everyone. I am Jebediah Spices. Some of you may have run stuff with me, but for those who haven't or don't know who I am, I am an omni-crafter, omni-gatherer. I like running a plethora of events. You can just ask me and I'll usually join with you. Um, every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I run my Blast from the Past event, which what that entails is we alternate between Alexander and the Omega Raids, whether it be clearing the content for first time uh, completion for folk or mount farming. Uh, next week, it will resume at... The usual time of 7 p.m. and we'll be doing Omega, so stay tuned uh, earlier in the week for my post concerning that. That being said, I also give away minions at the Sword Cafe. Minions are one of my passions. I like crafting them, growing them, handing them out because, you know, they're pretty cute, I guess. <laughs> um, so especially stay tuned tonight for the cafe. At, I'll be giving away something really big at the end in addition to the legion of things I've grown recently, um, about 16 minions tonight. So <laughs> everyone's going to be happy or most people. Um, yeah. Outside of that, I really have nothing else. Uh, I'm going to pass this off to Willa. Hey guys, I'm Willa. A lot of you have probably seen me around doing my main job um, at the Sword Cafe, handing out my manipulation kits. Or you've probably seen me outside the FC house, watering plants most likely. Um, um, I do the submarines as well. Um, I water a lot of plants for the FC. And I run a weekly all-girls map event on Sundays. Um, I'm an Omni crafter and an Omni gatherer. So if you need help with those, let me know. Um, I'll pass it on to Sierra. How's it going? I do my Thursday night bird mount farms, which I haven't done lately due to holidays. In, um, this thing they call uh, real life. <laughs> Not sure about that. Um, but uh, yeah, Omni Crafter, Omni Gatherer, if you need anything, just ask me. I'm usually willing to help out anywhere I can. I also help Elliot hand out stuff for your lovely chocobos at the cafe. So come see Becky and myself. 
for all your chocobo needs. Thanks, everybody. <clears throat> And I guess I'll pass it back to Saturn, unless there's somebody I missed. If I did, sorry. So, Freina, did you go? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, so, we are going to go over some of the reminders. Uh, and the reminders in the FC is we give out crystal shards and clusters to anybody who's looking to level their crafters. Um, we also give out, uh, Thabnarian onions for anybody who has a chocobo that's level 10 or above. So if you need a Thabnarian onion, Sierra already mentioned about the chocobo stuff as well. So hopefully you come out tonight to Sword Cafe and get things to dye your chocobo colors if you wish, or the Thabnarian onions, um, and occasional bardings that was mentioned. And then, um, I will let Sylvie talk about the FC room decorating contest and that we can help if you can't afford. You can mention that too. Yep. So um, the FC room decorating contest is a quarterly event where I'll come up with a topic and sometimes a story to go along with it. Um, you guys will decorate your FC rooms uh, according to how you feel it goes with the topic. Uh, at the end of the month, we'll get together and uh, some judges will go through the rooms. And the winners can win anything from up to four male gill, uh, mock station credit, fashion and uh, mounts and stuff that are rare in the game, and just about anything else. Um, the next competition is going to be starting in February. And um, if you want to get an FC room, but you absolutely can't afford it for some reason, uh, we can help you do that. Uh, the FC is willing to buy a FC room for you to um, participate in the competition, but we do ask that you try to raise the money yourself. Often doing the MSQ and stuff like that will get more than sufficient amount of McGill for it. It is only 300k to get a room, and you have to be its like second lieutenant in your grand company. Yes. Um, and then... Hugga, do you want to talk about maps? Sure. Okay. I'd love to talk about maps. Basically, maps are items you get from either gathering or from the market board. But in order to, to decipher them, you have to do a quick quest in Wineport called Treasures and Tribulations. It's a level <laughs> 35 quest. Uh, once you decipher a map, you'll get it'll go into your key items and it'll pop up a little cutout of uh, an area map with a big red X on it. You go to that area, locate where that cutout is, go to the red X, and use the dig command, which you also unlock from doing treasures and tribulations. Once you do that, a treasure chest will pop up. You go to open it. Enemies will attack. Kill the enemies. You can open up the chest for real this time. In it is various loot items. Uh, what loot you get depends on the map. Some maps, uh, Dragon Skin, which are level 60, Gazelle Skin, which are level 70, and Dishonor Skin, which are level 80 maps. They're group maps because they spawn a portal. Inside the portal is a dungeon or a roulette wheel. And basically go in there and you go room to room, opening chests and killing enemies. And you get a lot of loot. Some fancy glam items are in there, like the... Sh like the materials to make the shirt that Sylphrena is wearing. Uh, the mats to make the jacket that I'm currently wearing. Um, there's a paint emote, which does this. In four colors. Blue, red, yellow, and black. Uh, there's, you also get a lot of gill in there. And it's... Pretty easy time. It's a good way to meet some more FC mates, have some fun, make some gill. And that's about it. Oh, before I forget, in order to see the maps channels, you have to go to role and events assignments in the Welcome to Sword category of our Discord. Just click on the map emoji and it'll open up all the channels for you for the maps, which is and also the ping. Uh, we do map parties pretty much every day in so, one form or another. So Keep an eye out for them. 
Thanks. And uh, Willa, do you want to talk about your manipulation kits? Mm-hmm. Okay. So at the Sword Cafe, which is going to be happening tonight, I hand out what I call my manipulation kits. And these are the quest turn-ins for um, your level 1 to 60 Disciple of Hand quests. So if you have, haven't done those yet, um, you should come by and grab one from me. We also have other booths as well that we run at the Sword Cafe. So um, it's already been mentioned about the Chocobo one. And then we also have fashion kits. Um, Rihanna, do you want to mention the fashion kits? She's sure, still here. I can. Yeah, yeah I'm still here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we give out fashion kits on Fridays and at the Sword Cafe. Basically, the... Um, Fashion Report, it's a mini game at the Golden Saucer, and you can earn lots of MGP, which is the Golden Saucer currency. And you can get glam, you can get mounts, you can get, you know, minions, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, and it's one of the easiest ways to earn thousands and thousands of MGP. Um, so what we do, we, we give out 80 kits and 100 kits. So the 80 kits um, are just the basic kit. I, you get the most MGP, you get the same amount as the 100 kits. Um, but the 100 kits are just a one-time thing. You just need it once to get the achievement, the title, and then you can just do 80s. 80s are fairly easy, and then the 100s can be difficult depending on the week. Um, we're not always able to go out the 100s because sometimes Mask Rose likes to uh, insist on raid drops. So, you know, those weeks we can't do them. But um, every other week we try to get them if we can and if not we just hand out 80s but they're usually pretty easy just one piece of gear sometimes two and then a couple dies on different pieces of your body and you go present yourself and you get lots of mgp thank you um and then we also have a person in the fc that is a royal guard key song who hands out the master crafter kit books um kits for people to make those as well and uh, Jalen also does his Love Kit giveaway. Um, any information about the Love Kit giveaway and or crafting items if you have 100% of the mats that you're bringing with you. And so that is another booth that is being ran. And then we also hand out the HQ, HQ food at the Sword Cafe downstairs in the basement. The servers will serve you raid food like the Twilight Popoto salad, the smoked chicken or the chicken fettuccine HQ along with a drink to finish it off, grade four tinctures, strength, intelligence, mind, and dexterity. Uh, we do it twice a week, Saturdays at 10 p.m. Central Time to 11 p.m. Central, and Mondays from 8.30 p.m. Central to 9.30 p.m. Central. So if you're looking to get free stuff um, and just come and hang out, you don't even have to take anything. You can just come and say hello. It's just supposed to be a social mixer. The point of it is to incentivize people to make new friends while getting free help and um, socializing with one another. So that's why we don't do a delivery service of anything we've been asked before. Like, can I just get all my stuff mailed to me? No, because the point of it is to make friends and come and socialize. And we're just giving out the free stuff as a bonus to you know, a social mixer of sorts at the cafe. So we also have music that's played as well for your uh, listening pleasure. There are various different songs that are played, sometimes ranging from pop music to Christmas music around Christmas and many other tunes um, from games and things like that. So we look forward to doing more concerts as well. Any of you that have attended the Holiday Jingle or the New Year Ball, um, Stay tuned for more concerts to come or social events and mixers that we plan to do to help get people out there and make friends and uh, meet people that are into the same interests and hobbies that you guys are in the game, whether it be glam, raiding, mount farms, maps, what have you. So um, we also plan to do another glam contest. We have not decided upon the theme yet. Um, Harry, do you want to talk about your stuff? Why, I would love to, Saturn Return. Hello, <laughs> everyone. I'm Perry Pennington, and I'm here to talk to you about the 
glam contest okay so we run a monthly glam contest and if you have never been to a glam contest it is pretty uh straightforward it's basically a fashion show and you we pick a theme for the month uh saturday and i have not decided the theme for this month but be on the lookout in discord when we announce it but some of the previous ones we've done have been things like disney duos where people dressed up as disney characters um, and had a partner uh, we did high school stereotypes where people dressed up as nerds and chocks and goth kids and all kinds of other weird things. Um, and so uh, we create several categories that you can win in as a participant, including funniest, sexiest, uh, cutest, uh, FC leaders pick, and so on and so forth. And um, you come out, you strut your stuff with your glam that you feel like fits fits the theme and myself Saturn and some guest judges will uh, deliberate and come up with winners for each of the categories and sometimes usually actually we have to come up with more categories on the fly uh, because we feel bad and people did really well so uh, please come out you can win really really awesome prizes uh, mog station items uh, glam items expensive glam items and all kinds of other stuff so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Also, I would like to plug an upcoming event that we will be running on January 17th. Um, uh, Operatia is putting together a the bracket for another PvP tournament. It's a one versus one tournament, and there will be a whole host of rules, um, such as no healers and tanks, unfortunately. Uh, but there are rules associated. Um, it's going to be best of three style pvp tournament uh one versus one and the final match however will be best of five and so uh, the last time we did this was in september and it was uh really really exciting and fun actually uh the the grand prize this time is going to be a mog station mount of your choice so uh the prizes are really good i promise you will want to uh enter if you are good at pvp and um, even if you just participate, you will get a participation prize just for being in it. I will be commentating the event um, as the sort of shot caller announcer guy. Um, and so, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, come on out. It'll be great. Hey, so, Perry. Yes. One question that might be going through some people's minds is, uh, are blue mages allowed no. in this? Next question. All right. <laughs> That's it for me, Saturn. Take it away. Okay. It's just now. All right. Um. So we had actually had a PvP tournament quite like this that was hosted by Arsene and Hannah, but they went on some leave, and ho I see them here tonight. So glad to have them back and playing again. Hopefully, they get to play more often. But um. Some people were asking about a new PvP thing, so we're just starting it back up again. And um, hopefully it catches on so we can make it more of a regular thing in the guild. Um, we also have mount farms. Um, Sierra, do you want to talk about your mount farms in more depth? Um, sure, I can do that. Okay. Um, okay. Really, it's every Thursday night, and um, everybody always comes out. We have a great time. We try to get as many birds as we can for everybody. Um, sometimes doing multiple um, fights. Just if we get all the mounts that we can get, we move on to something else. I usually go with the top uh, vote first, and then we work our way through. I also help people to clear a few things. And most of the people in my group are really awesome and supportive, and we help them clear it so they can do the extreme portions of that so i think that's pretty much all i have to say about that birds are fun my parties are fun ask anybody that's been in them <laughs> <laughs> all right birds. sounds good um so Frina, was there anything else you wanted to touch on about the lottery uh, yes uh so starting uh last week we put in a new rule that uh after the drawing of the lottery you have 72 hours so that'd be we draw on sunday so you'd have until wednesday to either collect your prize or contact me or another officer to uh set up collection 
uh, because in the past we've had to wait nearly a full week for some people to contact us. Um, it's not the end of the world, but it, it with everything else we do, it's not always convenient having to track some people down to give them the stuff that they want. Um, also, in regards to that, uh, ticket prices are the same. They're still 50k for 1, 200k for 5, 300k for 10. And the lotto ends at 11.59 p.m. Saturday, which is today. So you can still buy your tickets for this week's lotto. At midnight, the lottery for this week ends, and at 12.01, tickets open for next week. So that Sunday to the next sun or next, Jesus. <laughs> that Sunday to the Saturday. Um, if you happen to buy tickets at midnight, it it goes either way in which way I'll put the tickets on. It honestly depends on how well the lottery is doing for that week. And also, uh, we've had a lot of split donations. I put a post on the bulletin. Split donations are fine, but it is not a 100% guarantee that you'll get tickets at different spots. If I notice it, I lump the money in together because I started no longer doing ticket numbers once I get the donations. Uh, because like you know two weeks ago i think when we reached 103 million in the lottery that was a pain to try to do tickets the whole time um and that's really all i have for the lottery thank you thank you so much okay um so i don't know if let's go to the Tech, how about you describe all the mini games? Go ahead, Tech. Take it away. <laughs> you got this, Tech. Take it away. Yeah, take it to it. Oh, so um, I'm Techno again. Hello, everyone. And I'm going to talk about all of our video games. Um, so we have a ton of them. Give me some more one second. I thought that was him that just dipped. <laughs> <laughs> Did my internet die? No, hold on. Oh, okay. Just making sure of the stream for the stream. Stand by, mm -hmm. Houston. I hear the shuffling of cliff notes. Okay, sorry. So, like I said, we have a ton of mini games. Um, if you will go into Discord and take a look at um, the mini games tab, um, first one on there is that who is that NPC? Um, so that's just an event where. Um, you will go and you'll have a a post that will show you where a, an actual NPC in the game is, and then you just have to go to that location and uh, take a photo of it, post it in this actual uh, uh, this Discord spot, and you'll put a number out, and then whoever is closest to the number that's rolled at the end of the week will win the prize for that one. Um, most of the ones that you actually are going to post in the actual Discord for like this, they're all going to be kind of the same concept as far as that goes, as far as you put a number in and then they'll roll at the end of the week and then whoever is closest to that number will win a prize. Um, some of them kind of vary a little bit, whereas like the first person to get something done will win an extra prize and things like that too. But I'll talk a little bit of that as we go through them. Uh, the time attack, you actually, there'll be a dungeon picked every week. You'll, uh, go into this dungeon and you have to uh, complete it within a certain time limit. Uh, the fastest time will always win an extra prize over the top of that. And then whoever is closest on that number at the end of the week will uh, win the grand prize as well. Uh, the wandering warrior of light is a kind of story and lore driven one <clears throat> where um, uh, Salandria actually will uh, put a short little uh, story item in there every week talking about a journey that he's taking following the warrior of light within the game. He will have you put some uh, key items in a photo at a specific location and you'll have to get those items in the photo and same thing, post it. Um, getting all the key items gets you special rewards. Plus he'll win um, off of uh, getting the closest number at the end of the week for that one as well. Um, the hide and seek with Kamed. That one obviously is with our wonderful legacy officer Kamed.
Um, so he uh, <laughs> he will um, find a spot in the game that uh, he's hiding in. He'll take a photo there, and then your job is to find that location in the actual game. Uh, take a picture there, post it in the channel, and then, again, closest one of the number wins. Uh, parkour challenge is also with Kemed. Usually that's going to be in uh, the yard of his house, so if you're not friends with him, then uh, try to friend him so that you can actually report to his house, or you can get with an officer, and they can probably tell you where that actual spot is. He'll do a little obstacle course. He'll have to take a photo at the end of it, wherever he's posted the photo at, and uh, post a number, and then you'll roll and win for that one. Um, and then, Mel, are you here? Yes. Do you want to talk about Char's? Oh, I would be happy to talk about both of Char's mini games. <laughs> Go oh, ahead. Okay, so everybody, Mel from 3.0, Mama Mel, as lots of people know me as, and my husband happens to be Char's Revenge. And he currently has two different um, mini games that he is currently running. One is, who's that NPC? He will find an NPC somewhere out in the wide world. He will take a picture of said NPC. He will write a little poem about the NPC. You find the NPC, you take a picture, post it with a random number in the appropriate minigame channel, and you can win Gil! Yay, Gil! He also runs the Fishing Extravaganza, in which you will grab your rod with both hands, you will cast it deep and you will master your bait to fish up the biggest or smallest fish that he has specifically ever asked for this week. Once again, you take a picture of you with your catch and your your size and you add a random number and you can also win Gil! Woohoo! To play those games, uh, they they don't make you... You can do them whenever. There's no time period, no time of day they must be done. Just do them when you've got time. Take picture. Win things. Huzzah! Back to you, Tech. Thanks, Mel. Uh, so, Lex, do you want to talk about uh, your Glam Shot screen contest? Sure. Um, so, I have taken over the Screenshot Glam Contest, um, which we have, just in case you can't make it to the Full on glam contest with the runway and everything. Um, and I run that last month was the first time. I'm still trying to decide what kind of theme to do. Uh, this time, last time was, you know, your, your best holiday glam. I'm thinking of a couple different options, and I will post that in the screenshot glam contest. Uh, channel once i decide on a full theme you usually have a at least a couple weeks to get a glam together and take a sc one screenshot and get it posted i do only ask for one screenshot because if you post multiples i don't know which one you want to actually be judged um there has also been uh some confusion and some um People are requesting that we only allow what is usable within the game, and I feel that's fair. So only whatever options are usable in the game as far as editing the screenshot to make it your best screenshot ever. Um, since I'm talking, I'll also go right into the Blue Mage. Blue Mage is a limited um, class because it can be basically anything. We go out, we learn and uh, monster skills, we do lots of shenanigans. We skip mechanics because our DPS is that good. And we get giant tentacle monsters uh, by doing six different raids as a full Blue Mage group. If having fun doing niche uh, classes, niche events, and getting giant tentacle monsters is your thing, please ask me for more information or join Blue Mage uh, chat. It's the mask in the Roland Events uh, channel. And we will get you geared up, potentially. We will definitely get you leveled up and work on getting you your spells to get you ready to get that mount and whatever Yoshi P feels fit to add in for us Blue Mages. And back to whoever's leading now. 
Cool deal. Thank you, sir. Um, and I'm going to plug uh, my event really quick before we're done with this. So what I run is Text Clam Jam. It's a monthly event. What you'll do is um, I'll probably do it tomorrow, uh, this week. I'll post an announcement in uh, Discord. There'll be a little emoji at the bottom of it. If you're interested in Glam, if you're not really very savvy with it, or if you don't really have the money to do it, then um, hit that emoji. You'll be signed up for a chance to win a makeover with me. So what we'll do is you'll have three options if you actually win. Once you'll get to pick a single item, and then we'll build a glam around that item. Uh, it has to be an item that you can purchase in-game, whether it be like a vendor or something we can craft or something we can get out of a dungeon. Um, the second way that you can do that is you can go on to the Aorzea Collection, which is just a uh, site that we use to kind of get inspiration and cool glams, that kind of stuff off of it. You can pick something specifically off of that, and then we will build it together, uh, running dungeons, crafting, whatever it takes to get it made, made. And then the third option you have is if you're not really sure what you might want, if you don't really have any good ideas, um, then you can just give me the reins, and I will create something I think you'll really like off of a couple of recommendations you might have, and I'll just surprise you through the month with a cool glam. Once you got that done, we will pick out a barding for your bird, and you'll be able to put that on him. It'll be something either that kind of goes with your clam or just one that you really like, that you've really wanted for a while. Um, once your bird is done, then we will do a little photo shoot, um, just in a location around the world or like somebody's house, just however you want to actually do it. You'll get to pick the place that you want to actually do it, um, poses and that kind of stuff. We'll give you some copies of all of the photos, and then we will post all of that in the actual uh, photos and screenshots in Discord. And then, uh, yeah. That's then the you reap the love. Yes, then you get the love, and everybody sings, says how awesome you look at everything. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of just mini games, sort of stuff that we didn't plug, but I mean, we have a freaking ton of them in the FCs all across all five of them. So there's always new stuff happening and everything like that. So definitely pay attention to Discord announcements and everything because that's the best way to see whenever new stuff's happening. So I'm going to give it back to Cedric. Thanks. And I'm going to pass it off to Flame to talk about raid learning parties when you're ready. Sure. So raid learning parties. First off, I'm Flame Zero from 5.0. Uh, raid learning parties are uh, learning parties for uh, Savage Raid tier content. Um, I host mine on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Central. Uh, there is somebody from uh, Eternal hosting them on Mondays, and uh, Malvernica from 1.0 hosts them on Fridays. Um, we're all uh, into teaching you how to get into the raid, how to do the fights, um, just basically how to raid, giving you an introduction. Um, all we really ask of you is have the minimum item level requirement, which will be like 500, 505, whichever depends on the fight. Um, and you have to have done the previous uh, raids, just the normals, and you have to be completed. 5.3 in the main storyline uh, to do the current tier. Um, I believe Jeb's doing uh, the 70s stuff as well, if that's something that interests you. But uh, you've got options. Uh, they're fun. Uh, come join them. That's all Thanks. for me. And then Mel wants to talk about the deep dungeons. So... Mel, again here. Hi, everybody. Deep Dungeons are great and fun, and you should come and run them with me and be gone. We run Palace of the Dead Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern and Heaven on High Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern, except for this weekend because of FC meetings. We don't want anybody to miss out. Um, what are the Deep Dungeons, you might be asking? Well, they're like regular dungeons, except you go down deep or up high, depending on if you're doing Palace or Heaven on High. Uh, there are luring traps and bombs and treasure and treasure that actually mimics and sacks that you get examined carefully by a very pretty lady who will tell you what's inside of your sack. Um, it uses an independent level, an, well, leveling um, weapon and armor thing, so don't worry about your item level. Just come out, kill shit, have fun, and no pants! 
I also DM'd you if you want to plug Vagon's thing for January. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. Still, uh, still Mel here. I am also here to talk to you about one of our newest features coming to our Sword magazine, which if you haven't read it yet, you should. It's up on our website at swordfc.com. And uh, our newest um, week or monthly article that we will be having in our own humble magazine is Ask a Thought. What's Ask a Thought, you might ask. I'm so happy to tell you about that. Having second thoughts on that big important matter. Should I quit my job and tell my boss to go to hell? Do I look good in this outfit? Should I get pizza or tacos? Is mint chocolate the best or worst combination in food history? Does a falling tree in the woods make a sound if no one is there to hear it? Forget about Google. Beginning this month, all of these questions and more that you can think up are for answer by none other than our darling Begone Thought of 3.0. Now is the time to know the answers to the questions you've always wanted to ask. Send your questions to swordfcmagazine at gmail.com or you can DM our very own uh, Guario Nex in Discord. And worry no more, you have a thought by your side to tell you what to think. Thanks. Um, and then... Sorry, my dogs are barking in the background. Um, and then, would you also like to talk about your event at the Gilded Scabbard, Doctors? Sure. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Dr. Azigra. I run an event called the Gilded Scabbard on Fridays from 10 to 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, it's at the Golden Saucer, where we just kind of hang out, play gates, race chocobos, have fun, hang out in voice chat, earn all that sweet, sweet MGP so you can come get mounts, minions, hairstyles, whatever you possibly need from the Golden Saucer. Real fun time. It's real chill, relaxed. Come and join me. That's about it. Thanks. <laughs> and then, Mashan, uh, do you want to talk about Breakfast Club? That you could get me to do that. Hello, <laughs> Mighty Girls. I have a Breakfast Club on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Believe it or not, we've opened that up the last couple of months. We uh, generally give you three choices. 80s fates, roulettes, or normal raids, go along with that, or 80s maps. Now, we've been known to run 70s maps. However, with this new patch, the 80s maps, of course, seem to be rather popular. Um, we've, we have just a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of regulars come in on a daily basis, but we also have a lot of new faces that come in. Uh, it's just one of those wonderful things that we like to do, and I try to keep it upbeat as much as possible, even on those days when those portals just aren't opening up. At any rate, again, that's uh, 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, 10 o'clock a.m. Central Time. It runs two hours. You have three choices. I put the uh, announcements up. You get to choose. Uh, once we've done that, we meet in the uh, uh, Breakfast Club channel. If there's more than eight people, we divide up into two groups. A lot of times we have uh, esteemed guest stars like Hug a Cactus or Kamed, or we've been known to have Perry Pennington even join us. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. People enjoy it. Come on out. Thanks, Saturn. Yes, and we recently have a new counter event to Breakfast Club that's going to be called the Midnight Munchies. It is going to be hosted by Illuminous, Masala, and Mamura from Eternal Sword. They are on Pacific Time, and sadly, there is not as many Pacific Time people in the FC as we'd like. But for those that are around or for those that just are night, owl night owls that like to stay up late and chill and game, together they decided to offer something that is pretty much identical to Michonne's breakfast club but it will be late at night on Fridays from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. pacific time 
So if you're looking to do roulettes, maps, mount farms, raids, chill, just like hang out, be other Pacific time people or people that are late night owls, that would be the day and time. It's listed in the guild calendar, which I'll link uh, in the FC chat and also in the Twitch. For anyone who's looking for any of the events, definitely check out the guild calendar. Um, There's the guild calendar. Okay. Um, so does any other officers want to plug their events before I head into promotions? Real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Since the person who doesn't run Rainbow Runs isn't here, uh, Rainbow yeah. Runs are currently run by a Jahadin, um, and they're currently in 1.0. They're on every Monday. I believe uh, they moved the time to 8 p.m. Central, right? I believe so. I'll have to check it's the calendar. Like it's like 8 p.m. Central or something like that to 10 p.m. Central. Uh, the vote yes, gets put up on what they Central. do. And, you know, they go from there. It's a fun time. Uh, if you can, I'd say you should make it. Um, and in order to do that, you have to be in the Pride channel, which is a request only. So, yeah. Thanks for touching on that. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and go into promotions. This is Honor Guard, Royal Guard, and Officer Promotions. So the first promotions we're going to do for the night is Honor Guard promotions. There is a couple of you that have returned back to the game and the guild after a very long extended break. Um, or you just like haven't been around or playing as often and you've just recently returned. Some of you have been in the FC for a year or two years even in some cases. So we're going to be promoting a couple of you together for those longtime members. Um, you are all helpful and you are, um, have been a part of this FC for quite some time now. Uh, and you may, some of you, I think, have been Honor Guard in the past, maybe in 2018 or 2019, but then you took these long breaks and now you've come back. So we're re-promoting you, some of you. So the first Honor Guard promotion that goes to a long-term member of ours is Sirius Schwartz. Yay! Sirius Schwartz. Uh, I don't know if Haga, you want to promote them or someone. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And then the next one goes to another long-term member of ours that has come back to the game to play more often recently is Nugen. Congratulations! Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, we also have Isaldrin and Ceres Azalea together have come back to the game to play. That okay. will be Honor Guard. They are now back. They used to be Honor Guard. Wow. Yes. Uh, I'm getting like reverb, by the way. I don't know whose mic it is. But we also have another person named uh, Melihana. Melihana is a long-term member who has been in our FC forever, but she transferred to another server to try it out, came back, missed us. Yay, she's back now. So we're promoting her back to her rank that she had before of Honor Guard. Then we also have congratulations. another person that will be Honor Guard as well. Another person who's been with us since 2018. Um, she used to play all the time, but then took a long real life break, has come back and is now going to be running an event to help grind for glams that um, you'll probably see the posts and announcements about. And she is Athena Mistborn for Honor Guard again. Yay, congratulations. Yay, congrats. Congrats, congrats. And then we also have uh, some newer members where they have not been with us for years, but they are really helpful and they come to lots of events. They're very active in FC chat. Some of them donate items as well to the FC, whether it be soil or things for Sword Cafe or what have you, one of which is Calvil. He's like donating me lots of soil to help with our Thavnarian onion farm and also blue crabs for the Sword Cafe for chili crab and crab cakes. So Calvil. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. And then we also have uh, another person who is a long-term member and he is helpful as well as donating items to help with things like the booths so booths at the sword cafe or anything we need. Lurksmith is gonna be honor guard. 
Congratulations! <laughs> Another person who's been in ROC for at least a year is Nuka Callum. He is also Honor Guard. We have so many Honor Guard promotions. Yeah, just like yes. And then we have uh, this one. Everybody loves saying his name. He is also a very helpful, very active member of the FC. Is Doug Dimidaf. <laughs> Everybody Good loves his name. Yay, Yay Doug Dimidab. Yay, 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 Doug. Honor Guard. Dimidab. Okay, so those are the Honor Guard promotions. Some of those, like I said, that were re-promotions. They used to be Honor Guards, and some were new ones. But we've had a lot of people return back to the game recently with the patch, and like just maybe they their real life settled down so they could play again. So glad to have them back. Glad that uh, Melihana transferred back. And so, and and welcome to the new honor guards that were newly promoted. So we also have a royal guard promotion for tonight. This goes to someone who's already an honor guard, but he has picked up a responsibility for the FC to run rainbow runs, which Silfrina mentioned. Rainbow runs are now going to be run by Jihad and Zol. So he's going to be a royal guard. That's Yay! Yay! Yes, yeah. And he's a great bartender. Yes, he is a great bartender. <laughs> and then we have an officer promotion tonight. Um, this <sighs> person is going to be promoted to be uh, an officer in Mortal Sword. This is probably going to be the last officer promotion for some time because we have a lot of officers now in Mortal, which is the biggest guild, so it's okay to have more, but probably the last officer promotion for a while. Um, and this person will be running our sword Twitter page with his one-liners and jokes and hilarity. He is a true comedian at heart, somebody who uh, always knows how to put a smile on people's faces in the FC chat, and he also assists us with the cafe and watering people's plants as well for our watering schedule. Um so we'd like to promote Anya Balhais to officer. Yeah, oh Anya! yeah, congratulations! You can't win prizes anymore. So Anya, Anya, if you want to say anything, you can go ahead and talk. Uh, hi everyone, Jebediah Spice is here leading for Anya due to the not to talk. <laughs> oh my god. With that being said, they have prepared a statement for us. Um, Anya. Uh, thanks, Jeb. Uh, hi. Inspiring. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Your speech! That was the speech. Encore! Excellent. Excellent. With as funny as Anya is online, he is a shy boy when it comes to talking on the mic, so um, I don't know how much we'll be able to get out of him over voice in future meetings to come. We may just have to have Jeb talk for him. But as you all know him in the FC chat, he's very chatty and always down to help people in the FC chat. So, yay! Anya. Yay! Woohoo! Woo yeah. Anya says thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Perry, do you want to talk about prizes? I would love to talk about prizes with the three minutes I have left Saturn Return. Hello, everyone. I'm Perry Pennington from 2.0. Uh, all right, so for prizes, if you are in the Mortal Sword and you are out there listening, uh, scroll all the way to the top of Discord underneath the Welcome to Sword category. You will now see visible to you, like magic, the hashtag giveaways channel. There you will see I've posted a screenshot of tab one of your FC chest. Now, everything in that tab one of the FC chest is available for the giveaway, including any mounts, Minions, bardings, or glams inside. Um, if you will pay attention to the bottom row, you will see that there is a row of flowers. Those represent prizes that we cannot physically place into the chest, including Mog Station codes and gill. So, from left to right, we have the blue flowers, which represent the peacock mount, which was actually donated to us. Uh, by Silvax, none other than our own Silvax, so thank you, Silvax. Uh, so the Peacock Mount is the grand prize. The Red Flowers is the Play Dead emote, which is also a Mog Station code. The Green Flowers is the Dote emote, Mog Station code. And the White Flowers is a Million Gill, and the Yellow Flowers is uh, the uh, obligatory 500k Gill. Now, 
there are horns in the chest that correspond to different mounts. Uh, we have a zoo horn, uh, the Ufidi horn, which is the gorilla mount, and the Megalotragus horn, which is a giant goat mount. Okay, so um, for to enter, click the tada or the streamer emoji underneath the giveaway bot, and only click it once. Um, and in about uh, 10 minutes or so, that's going to roll. And you, if you are selected, uh, you will be pinged in Discord in this channel, in the giveaways channel. Now, if you're pinged in Discord and you're selected as a winner, you need to uh, DM or whisper an officer in the Mortal Sword in your FC in game in Final Fantasy 14. Do not whisper them in Discord. Uh, whisper them in game, and I recommend whispering them your top two choices uh, for prizes. Uh, just in case your first one's already taken, uh, they can get your second one, because it is a free-for-all. So whisper whoever you think would be the fastest, and uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. That's it I bet me. Anya's really fast. Yeah, Anya is really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. <laughs> it's like, mm, the hazing has begun. Hi. Speaking on behalf of Anya, he will take your tells now. <laughs> be the okay, only one that um... <laughs> okay so with that uh it is 8 p.m central time remember sword cafe is in two hours at 10 p.m central time where we give out free stuff and with that i will go ahead and conclude the meeting thank you uh sorry we were we were not able to go over all of the events but just check out the sword uh event calendar in case you missed something thank you all for coming Bye. Okay, bye. 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 bye.